How would you do 312 times 4? I recently saw a video of a kid who did it like this. Three vertical lines for the 300s, one vertical line for the 110, and then two vertical lines for the two units. And then, since we're multiplying by 4, we draw four horizontal lines. After doing this, the young lad basically just counted off the answer by looking at the intersections of the line. Eight intersections there gives us an eight in the ones place, four intersections here gives us a four in the tens place, and then twelve intersections over here gives us a twelve in the hundreds place, which is one thousand and two hundred. For final, correct answer of one thousand two hundred forty-eight. This left many thinking, wow, that was so beautiful, so elegant, so simple, all we had to do was draw lines and count dots. Why wasn't I taught this in school? After seeing me do it once, you can probably already imagine one reason why, which is that this method of multiplication is just not particularly efficient. But furthermore, although there are very simple mathematical facts underlying why this method works, and indeed it does work, it doesn't always work out as simply as it did in this example. When we got to this last set of intersections, we had a two-digit number, 12, which didn't cause any problems because this was at the very end of the number, so having to carry that one over wasn't an issue. But we could just change the problem by a single digit instead of 312, perhaps 313 times four, and suddenly this carrying becomes a bit more of an issue. Again, to do this, we would draw three vertical lines for the 300s, and then give some space and draw the one vertical line for the 110, and then give some space and draw three vertical lines for the three units, and then draw four horizontal lines crossing these. If we just followed exactly the method shown in the original demonstration, we would begin by counting these intersections, and of course there are 12 of them total. So to begin our solution, we would write 12, then we would move on to the next set of intersections, and there are four of those, so the next digit in our answer would be four, and then we would count these up, and and again over here we would get 12. So with this method we would propose as our final answer 12,412. But this is not correct, this is way too big. The correct answer to this multiplication problem is 1,252, which can be done accurately and quickly in your head by just splitting up the problem. Four times three hundreds is 1,200, four times 110, that's 40, so 1,240, and four times three is 12, so 1,252. Split the number up, multiply, add the pieces together. But you can see we got the wrong answer using this method because we didn't realize this four and this one should actually be in the same place value. They should come together as five. So the method does work, we can even use it if both numbers have multiple digits, but when we use the method, in general, we have to be careful with the place values and make sure we get them all correct. As a quick example of carrying out this method with some more care, consider doing 34 times 14. Again, we have three vertical lines for the three tens, and then some space and four vertical lines for the four units. And then for the 14, we'll do a similar thing but the lines are horizontal, and you want to make sure you begin with the ones place. So we begin with four horizontal lines, and then we give some space and draw one more horizontal line for the 110. And then because of how we've organized the lines, this clump of intersections here is ones place times ones place. This intersection here is tens place times ones place. This intersection here is ones place times tens place. And this intersection in the corner is tens place times tens place. So to exercise caution, I would count up these intersections and keep the totals separate and bring them together at the end. Counting up this clump, we have a total of 16 intersections. And since this is ones place times ones place, this is actually representing 16. Down here, we have four intersections. This is ones place 
place times tens place. So this four is actually representing 40. Over here is tens place times ones place, and we have a total of 12 intersections. So this is actually representing 120. Again, that's because there's a factor of 10 here because this is tens place times ones place. So 12 dots is 120. And then down here, we have three intersections. This was tens place times tens place, so that's actually 300. And then we add everything together. 120 plus 40 is 160. Add that to 300, it's 460. Add that to 16, it's 476. Of course, we could have done that much more quickly by just splitting the 14 up and using the distributive property. It's 34 times 10 plus four, and then we have two pretty easy multiplications to do. 34 times 10 is 340. And to do 34 times four, I do four times 30, which is 120, plus four times four, which is 16, so 136. So I add 136. This gives me a total of 476. Now, does this line multiplication method have a name? Well, cute and useless comes to mind. I joke, of course, there are many reasons a teacher may want to show this method to their class, and I don't begrudge anyone who finds it both cute and amusing. But back to its name, I wasn't able to find any common name for it. It seems like it could be called the lattice method, but there's already a method of multiplication called the lattice method, link in the description to my video about it, and it's not this. This method also bears a great resemblance to the method of multiplying on a chessboard board with slightly dirty pennies. You can watch my video on that in the description as well. The only significant thing I really found while trying to find a name for this method is someone suggesting that legendary math YouTuber Vheart had made a video on this in the past, but all of her videos are gone now, which probably just ruined a lot of your days, but there's really nothing I can do to ease the pain except continue to talk about math, I suppose. Why is this method of multiplication so inefficient? And why does it work? Well, the answer to those two questions is the same, which is that it's basically just using the definition of multiplication. All it is is a shortcut for creating a rectangle of dots. What is two times three? Well, when you first learn about multiplication, you realize that you can figure that out by just considering two dots three times. Two dots, two dots, two dots. Look at that, it's six dots. Two times three is six. But if I'm in a hurry and I don't want to write six dots, I could get away with just writing five lines, the two vertical lines, and then the three horizontal ones. And then you see those intersections. There are six of them. If I'm in a pinch and need to do eight times two, well, I could just use that rectangle definition and say this is just eight dots two times. and I can count them up and realize this is equal to 16, but if I'm in a rush, I might only have time to draw 10 lines. So instead of writing 16 dots, I write out eight vertical lines, and then two horizontal lines, and then I can just count the intersections. And indeed, we could do the same thing in that multiple digit situation. 34 times 14, well, that's four dots four times. It is three dots four times. It is four dots one one time, and it is three dots one time. And then we just count up the dots and stay attentive to the place value. And you can see the classic dot array method of multiplication is the same as this crisscross applesauce method. One can scarcely begin to imagine the pain of employing this method to do 999 times 999. But when compared to writing out 998,001 dots, the idea of writing out 54 lines doesn't seem so bad. Anyway, let me know what you think this method should be named, as well as the names of any other cute multiplication methods you've seen. Be sure to subscribe as well for more of the swankiest math videos on the internet. I'm unstable, I'm feeling hard to keep the cable cut and unsort the table If Texas instruments don't reply, well, I think this time it might be fatal I Wish to sell my own fake, cause I'm straight and hate the odds that I calculated Press and pull and pray and push it all the way through the whole blue planet faded Psychosomatic habits, why you're so, so